What's up guys? How you guys doing? It's your girl, Sabiria, and I'm back with another video. Uh-oh. Let that be true! <laughs> Damn! So guys, we're watching my, I can say my hair, we're now watching my, we're watching the Boondock series, sorry, season two, episode six and seven, I believe, let me just confirm that, yeah, episode six and seven, I am super excited to jump straight into the Boondock series, it's been a hot minute, it's been a hot minute for me, uh, last episode we got, we got the, the guy coming back from hell to seek revenge on the Freemans. <laughs> it was a wacky, crazy episode. And then we got the grandpa fighting with the rap rappers. <laughs> it was just like, what? I like all the, you know, the old, like the, not the old, but like, I like the references to different TV shows and stuff like that. Shows and in, in, in instances of real life people that I didn't even realize until I started watching the show. It's, it was like, wow. No, it for such a like it's heavily satire, but it shows you a lot of truths you would never know about if the show was in the way it was. Um, but yeah, guys, <laughs> I am ready to jump straight into season two, episode six. I <laughs> it's been a while since I've actually sat down and recorded, so it's it's always awkward for me every time I sit down and record. But yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below if you are excited, and do not forget to hit the subscribe button, and turn the bell notifications if you guys do want to get, stay tuned for the rest of, what's the word on the wall, the rest of the series, yeah. And without further ado, let's just get on with the video. Oh! Okay, well, here, something else, your character. Oh, Lord! <laughs> you know, we can't hide his face. You know, I'll grab it out of the filter. He's like, oh, come on, come on in. But, like, you're an old man trying to get a young girl, and you expect. And you, you expect them to. I don't know what he expects. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Like. No offense, Grandpa, you know, you're, you're, you're you know you what? and all, but... I've had it. This sucks. Mm. <laughs> oh. Never look like this damn picture. This ain't you! <laughs> oh, so wow. is that all you care about is looks? Yes! <laughs> yeah, well, excuse very clear. me for thinking you like me for who I... to me god what did i do to deserve this this is payback for what what did i do to you tell me baby i said hey nigga you ain't no denzel i was gonna say like you think he that done watch the <laughs> all day i said give him the chair let the cute their ugly ashes i pulled that switch quick wow I just, find it, I just find it very ironic how he thinks these young girls like want to message him and meet up and date and then he's shocked when he sees that they're not young. I mean, I don't condone catfishing either, especially Grandpa's pretty straightforward with his profile. Like, he, he's him, which I respect, but like, maybe you should lower your expectations, Grandpa. You're not as young as you used to be. I think it's a setup. It don't make no sense. Why would she like you? Come on, your granddaddy gives sweet love. Now, what do you know about this woman? Wait. When you go to sleep, I bet she have a gang of niggas up in here to rob us. That ain't a good look, granddad. Not a good look? Is that some kind of new slang? Is that what's hot in...
It's a five-hour drive. Either she was going to stay here or I pay for a hotel room. Shoot, bad enough I got to buy all this damn champagne and new sheets. I ain't Jay-Z. Shoot, I ain't born. Wow. Uh, who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be here? No, sir. Goodness. Oh, what is it? Oh my god, it's so good to finally meet you! Wow. <laughs> wow. This is very suspicious. Wait, what are you at? <laughs> He's always thinking. He's always thinking. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 You mean like wolf wolves? Yeah. For some reason, wolves really like me. I was raised around wolves. They get a bad rap, but really, if you aren't afraid to establish dominance, there's... Ah, okay, there it is. There it is. Kickboxing, but it's kind of similar. It's called White Lotus Kung Fu. Oh, what? White Lotus? That's the deadliest style there is. Yeah. So you all can't beat her, that's what you gotta say. If you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> well, Hugh uh, is very interested in martial arts and. Uh... <laughs> He's like, oh hell no. Oh, oh wow. She really is. The Kumite is usually held on some faraway, mysterious island, so it's a nice getaway. Uh huh. You know what this reminds me of? You know that episode of Spongebob when uh, Sandy was, uh, was, was she teaching everybody how to fight? If you guys know what I mean, you know so what I mean. Oh, they was training in martial arts. No, you get to catch up with old friends, <laughs> see some really good matches, get a tan. Like it it's good times. Good times. The Kumite is supposed to be a dead. Did she just rip his heart out of his chest? Fatality. Oh, okay, it definitely is a reference. Huh? All the same? I mean, they can only hang you once, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, am I right, am I right? Grab our face. It's like, maybe I'll take the other girls. Type you. Yeah, it's time for you to go, because not even you, we could beat you. Thanks for inviting a killer kung fu wolf bitch to the crib, granddad. You think I knew she was a killer kung fu wolf bitch? She ain't said nothing about no damn kuma gi kuma tu kuma tu. Yeah. Huh? Me? Exactly, I can't beat her. Granddad, she's not a kung fu master. She's crazy. Shit! Then you go kick her ass out. But this is your responsibility. Mm -hmm. You oh. brought her. Uh, oh no. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Yeah, let the thing go. No. You're telling me to hold your pizza. It's so so wrong if you don't know the context. So where's he at now? I don't know. Who's she talking to? So, that's pretty impressive, being a White Lotus master. Thank you. It was really hard. It's mm. just, I had heard there were no White Lotus masters. Oh. Yeah, Grandpa, you got the kick out. Oh, you good?
Do you know the story of Brenda Richie? You mean Lionel Richie's wife? No, <laughs> Lionel Richie's ex-wife. It was 1988. Brenda Richie had just called Lionel and... You know that's how it happened. Were you there? Brenda Richard Nuke. But why did I do that? Okay, let's hear the story one more time. Okay, let me get this right now. My cousin Elliot in California passed away very suddenly while working out. And then uh, you yeah. yeah. Good. If that don't work, we're going to have to shoot that bitch. You sure she's oh. going to believe that? Granddad, the story's fine. Under no circumstances do you change that story. Got it? <sighs> got really to today is Fidel Castro's birthday, and I'm in charge of the birthday party. So I got to fly out there, but I forgot, stupid me, I forgot to buy some balloons. So Yeah. Wow. Wow. Like, oh I thought you were going to tell me you thought I was crazy and you didn't want to see me again like the others. Oh, no, no, girl. No, 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 no. I'm sweating buckets. Ship with you. Definitely. But sure you're I'll call you though. as soon as I get back from Cuba. And Fidel. Buckets. Oh my god. I mean, but do honestly. But doesn't she technically already know where you guys live? This is by crazy internet women. I really thought you blew it there with the Fidel Castro story. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Till August 13th. Really? Because I thought you might have two jobs. <laughs> so right. And by everything else, I mean her looks. She was fine. She couldn't look that good. She was black. But I guess if you and put lip... Aren't you single, Uncle? Let's go Oh. I found him. He's in a park with another man. Oh, see? What did I tell you? See, that's exactly what- <laughs> Women just crazy. It's all well. that stuff they do that they have. Straighteners and relaxers and activators and tight braids. Still look like I ate with a pretty head of hair. Oh well, at least I got that crazy bitch out of my house. <laughs> oh, what happened, girl? What he say? He told his friend I'm crazy. He said Luna. What? Oh my God! No, you should shouldn't do that. Why do they always they always attract the crazy people? He's not here. I'll call his cell. His phone's dead. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Told you we should have shot that bitch. I mean. Oh, she's gone. Riley she's gone. Now. She's uh -oh. gone. Yes, yeah, she is. She's gone. <laughs> and he's singing a song about it. Oh my god. Q. 
just blow to sleep. Oh, she's crazy. Oh! Ah! They'll catch your Jay-Z birthday party lie? Look, everybody lies. I love it when people lie to me. It means they care enough to spare my feelings. I heard you tell your friend I was crazy. <laughs> no. No, 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 <sighs> Hello? You got him, girl? Yeah, I got him. Now remember, I'm none of this was your fault. I'm this I'm man took your weekend from you. Two days. Wow. <clears throat> it's Tom. Uh oh. Right on time. Tom. Hey, Tom. Did you come from this time? We did it. What up? We did it. Uh oh. Say hello. Uh, you must be Robert's weekend visitor, Luna. I'm Tom. May I speak to Robert or the boys, please? They're not in. I'll tell them you stop by. Can I, uh, use the bathroom? My granddad kicked a woman named Luna, that would be you, <laughs> out of the house, and she may return and murder the whole family. Please check on us periodically this weekend. Best regards, you... Thank God for Huey, but why would you read the email to the crazy bitch? True. Mm -hmm. It's just that he goes on to say, PPS, there's absolutely no chance my granddad patched things up with this woman. <laughs> uh. I see. Um... Oh, wow. Flawless victory. Luna, this has gone far enough. Not leave me. Tom out of this. But leave me out of this first. <laughs> and so she told them the very, very, very sad story of Luna. I was raised in a broken and abusive household. <laughs> this chicken is cold! After that, I had wow. one terrible relationship after another. I suffered every kind of abuse imaginable. Verbal? I told you not to wash my bloody skin. Oh, wow. Shit without me. Wow. You without me equals shit. You understand that, you ugly fat bitch? Now let me... Damn, no wonder she's the way she is. True. Brenda Colson, it's men like you, Robert, who lie and avoid commitment. If I could just find a man to love me. <laughs> okay. Or maybe you just love yourself. That could be a situation. That's right. Don't take your past out on other people. That's the first step to a lonely life. And what was it about you that made you keep dating those kind of men? And you can't kidnap people just because... Oh, I'm never gonna get married. I might as well just blow myself up right now. Huh? What? Don't do that. Don't do that. Are you sure I shouldn't just blow myself up? No, 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 no! <laughs> it's like the great Tybo master Billy Blanks always says. Take control of your life. Take responsibility. <laughs> Got him, girl? No. Everything's okay, Nicole. He told me I should take responsibility and let go of the past.
Oh my God, girl, I am so sorry. You told this man your life story and he just dished you like that? If a man said that to me, oh my God, I don't think I can handle it. I would. <laughs> Not, I hope she didn't blow Her friend isn't giving her more back. <laughs> It was that crazy ass loser's fault for not taking responsibility. Hi. God rest her cool soul. Hello? Hello? What was that noise? Hello? A life without a man to take care of your ass ain't worth living? So go back in there, girl, and torture him until he proposes. That's what you need to do. Ooh, a little too late for that. Um, yeah, a little too late. Special guest. Oh yeah, see there, see yeah, the special guest. But yeah, that was my reaction to episode six. We're gonna jump straight into episode seven and then leave the discussion part for last. But that was something else. Oh my god, that <laughs> I don't even know how to describe that. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get on with the video. And how bad it is to be you. We got wow, plenty of holes spinning. We got twenty phones spinning. It's those Nevis's crib, nigga. Roll. I like to give them haters something to hate right when they get to the dog, nigga. Ding dong. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Imagine getting paid just to do that. You know, I believe in investing in the arts and I believe in investing in myself. Right. Now, this shit right here, this is some old John Wolf shit, nigga. This on the movie Killer. You know what I'm saying? But that's me, though. You mad? Mm hmm. <laughs> Riley. What the. Oh my God. What are you doing here? Motherfucking Jacuzzi, nigga. Oh, but there's more, my nigga. This is the straw that breaks the haters' camel's back, nigga. I got hopes on tap, nigga. Observe. Where the hell did they come from? Yeah, we killed himself, man. Took his own life and shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> Suicide note with some shit about his ex-girlfriend and all of that. We all knew that the shit was about the diamonds and the rubies and the jacuzzi. You know what I'm saying? Your bitch does. <laughs> And this right here is what I like to call my bitch tank. And this bitch is Debbie. Wow. The motherfucker thing. Man, get the fuck out of here. Nah, for real, nigga, look. Ah, shit. Uh, ah, man. man. Yo, it's like the stutter shades, right? Yeah. Then put the motherfuckers on there, nigga. Tell me what time man, it is. Nigga, it's 2 30. Hey, the doorbell girl was wondering if you're expecting any more company because she can stay if you want, but in 20 minutes it's gonna be time and a half. So yeah. time and a half. <laughs> wow. This <laughs> is wow. It's rich, but you're not gonna be time and a half. Nope, dog. Yeah. Damn, we might as well be working at King Hey, magnificent. I'm taking off. Just wanted to say thanks for the opportunity. It was great. Hey, little mama. Why don't you stand kicking with us for a little hey, bit? Hey, 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 you sure you gotta leave? Sorry, my boyfriend's here. He wanted to meet you so bad, but he's gotta get back to work at Kinko's. So, bye. Hey, wow. did you want the walk? Dang. Ooh. Hey! Who turned up the motherfucking water? <laughs> 
Stomp them in the nuts. Stomp them in the nuts. Stomp them in the nuts. I'm gonna stomp them in the nuts. Hey guys, what I got to do to become a member of the Lethal Interjection crew? Man, you wanna be down with us? You're talking about joining a family. Getting paper, my nigga. Now you know I'm all about getting my paper. Come on, man, you got to let me in the crew. Now, Riley, I want you to know that even though we're doing it real grand, if this rap shit don't work, we running up in niggas' houses, my word. I mean, oh, wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're gonna be hitting the streets, son. Moving mad rock all day, selling that yeah, real heavy hurt. drug shit. No. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, who the hell we ain't? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Like, I'm not like, 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 the first test is the agreeability test. Before you are a member of the team, we have to make sure you share my thugnificent taste and sensibilities. <laughs> not the agreeable at nod. Fuck you, hating ass nigga! Don't nobody give a fuck with your dumb ass thing! Give me this motherfucker! Dang! Get your ass up out of here, yo! Hook ass nigga! Yeah, I'm tired of ass, pussy nigga. ass nigga! Burn the fuck up out of here with that bullshit! Beat it! Nigga! Man, look at the chair! How good? Uh, real good? Okay, you passed. Next is a test of courage. Hmm? Not him driving. No. Oh my god. The third test is a test of intelligence. Find a way to get some hoes over here. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I will see that. I can get some hoes over here. Can reach these hoes and tell them to come over here and get bucket naked? Yep, yep. How many? I don't know about a hundred, hundred ten, thousand. <gasps> ten thousand? See, this search engine hooks it up so that I can find all the hoes in a 50 mile radius that are fans of your music. Hey, yo, dog, you like a motherfucking com. Wow. Come here, boo, let me holler at you. Oh, fuck you then, bitch. Oh, my God. Bucket mouth, ho. Well. Now, bad for short notice. So, so am I in the crew? Do I get a chain? Come back tomorrow, partner. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Grandpa, and I know where he is. Or his brother. That wasn't no chain, that was a necklace. This'll be a real chain. Oh, man, I can't wait for niggas to start hating. I can't wait. So you judge your success by the amount of ill will you generate from those around you. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't think he even does a compliment, any. He says people up there. Really part of the Lethal Interjection crew. All the hate and envy that I've collected with this chain over the years will now transfer to you. Thanks. Now just remember what you represent when you have it on and be proud of it. There isn't a single member of the Lethal Interjection crew 
that isn't ready to die for his chain, nigga. Uh, no. What? <laughs> right, I'm like, hello. I ain't having nobody. <laughs> oh, you are robbed. Oh, you get you get you black shirt or something like that. Seems I woke. Mm. In your life. Now. So you had a wallet now? now? Really? You gonna hold it? Damn. He like to jack you first and then ask you for your shit all after the fact. What kind of sandwich is this? <laughs> what are you listening to? Where they send them kids to boot camp. You listen to me, you little fat turd. I'm not your mama, and I'm not gonna put up with it. No! Ooh, yeah. Ain't nobody catch no beat down. I got snuck by this bully, Butch Magnus. He sucker punched me. Hmm, a bully, huh? Well, there's only one way to deal with bullies. You gotta stand up to them. I remember when I was young, there was one bully. Big dude. I forget his name. Anyway, he used to pick on anybody. Steal your bike. <gasps> Dang. Dang. Wow. I need to watch Well, the lesson movie. is still the same. Uh, wait, what was the question? <laughs> wait, what was the question? Dude, that is really uh, sweet. Uh, that's uh, like a sweet uh, piece of oh, yeah. Bitch magnet. Yeah. Uh -oh. What you call me? I called you a bitch because you's a bitch. <laughs> what you thought I wasn't going to come see you? You thought you wasn't going to... Your brother taught you some skills. Oh, that's hurting him as much as you think it is. You were looking for hate. Ooh. Way to go. Shut up, punk. Instead of being Mr. Funny nigga, why don't you try being Mr. Helper nigga? Go jump the nigga and get his chain back. <laughs> Man, I gotta find a way to get it before Thugnificent finds out. Riley, let the chain go. Thugnificent wants it back, he can handle it. Then he'll think I'm a punk and kick me out the crew. It's just. Really? Yeah, you, you got him. Oh, come on, Ed. Really? You got to help me out. Kidnap me. Oh, yeah. I don't know, Riley. Really. My grandpa's be tripping, man. Why we you don't try something different than, like, diplomacy for a change? Man, just snatch him up, and if the nigga don't have a chain on him, get to regulating him and make him tell you where it at. Now, what I want you to do is think. <gasps> no, 
was the wrong one! And motherfucker! You gonna tell me where that chain is? I know that! Ed, can I talk to you outside? Please? Look at my face! Look at it! I'm gonna crush your little kitty penis with this hammer when I get back. If you don't tell me where that chain is at! <laughs> no! Oh. That's the wrong kid, Ed. That's your only freebie. You want me to kidnap anybody else? You paying top dollar. That's not fair. You grabbed the wrong kid. Top titty. My bad. You go ahead and leave. What the fuck you looking all scared for, huh? I said you was free to go, right? Which part of my bad do you not understand? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, come on over here. I give your bitch ass something to cry wow. about. What's up, world? This is Sway. A member of the Lethal Interjection crew was apparently the victim of a violent robbery in the exclusive suburb of Woodcrest today. The perpetrator, a local 12-year-old named Butch. You know where to find me. <laughs> I ain't hiding. <laughs> Thugnificent could not be reached for comment. I'm sorry, guys. I did everything I could to get it back. Why didn't you tell us as soon as it got took? I didn't want y'all to think I couldn't handle my own business like a man. Riley, that's the whole point of belonging to a crew, nigga. So you ain't never got the... Interjection, you fucking with every last one of us. Come try all that tough shit with me. Mm. Oh man, uh. my mother. <laughs> no, I should be laughing. Oh no. You know what? Still better than an old funky necklace. I can't. Oh my god, I really can't. Do I can't deal with oh, with Riley. It's a mess. So guys, that was my reaction to the Boondock series season 2 episode 6 and 7. Yeah, <laughs> this is, at least these episodes have gotten a lot better with the fight sequences, a lot better with the dialogue. You know, we didn't, we haven't seen Homegirl, what her name is again? Jasmine? Jasmine? I guess it depends on how you want to, well not Jasmine, it's ja it is Jasmine, what have I been talking about? Yeah, it's Jasmine. Um, we haven't seen her in a hot minute, but we we focus on more on Riley and Huey and the grandpa. I feel Riley. I feel not Riley. I feel like Huey's bad. Like he's like he's the only one with like some sense saying, "Do you really want to risk your life for this chain? Do you really want to get me to for this chain?" And he's like, "Come on, dude." He's like, "Yes, I do. I don't care. I want the chain." He's like, "Okay." Um, but I was thinking in the back of my head, I'm like, "Why would why would you be afraid to call people? You're in a crew. If something happens to one member, wouldn't it? Wouldn't all of them want to?" to um avenge <laughs> uh for the next member yeah i i saw that coming from a mile away when it came to him getting beat by this little kid who's how much pounds he's at 200 and what 200 and something pounds damn he's a big boy he's 13 and he's that big already um 
thing. Um, in the last episode, of course, Grandpa Pick, uh, smoking hard girl who's smart and beautiful, but it's also batshit crazy, <laughs> who just loves to scare men half to death. Obviously, he said, like I agree with I agree with Grandpa. Actually, come on, honey, just focus on you. Don't worry about men or everybody to other men. Top of the city, your home girls, because your home girls are. I was like, they're the problem too. You know what I mean? They sound like, she's like, that's why I'm single. Really? <laughs> they have the voice of um, the, girl, the woman from Everybody Hates Chris. I don't remember her name. Let me see if I can find it. You know, Rochelle. <laughs> I actually watched Everybody Hates Chris. I love that show. It's, the last episode made me kind of teary eyed, to be honest with you. Um, let me see if I can find the mom. Where is she? Mm -mm. There she is, yeah. Do they actually have her on it? I wonder if they actually have her listed in the cast. I don't know. I guess I'll find that later. But that's, that's her voice, definitely. You can't tell me otherwise. We got Snoop Dogg, one of my favorite artists. Oh, he was a part of my childhood. Like, a lot. Um, I'm glad they told me the references because I would have never gotten that Friday reference. Because <laughs> I said, I never watch Friday. I do want to watch it at some point. Uh, I've been waiting for the opportunity. And I might actually watch it on the show if you guys want me to. Um, show. It's not a show. It's a YouTube channel. I don't know why I said that. I am tired. But yeah, guys. I don't know much to say about these episodes because they basically spoke for themselves. I don't think I have to go in too much of a depth episode when it comes to the boondocks. Unless it's like a real hard-hitting episode, which usually happens when it's about Huey. But these two episodes weren't about him. The first episode was about the grandpa and his dating life. His horrible dating life. And the second episode was about Riley and wanting to be in a gang and wanting to... Wanting gang in a sense you know and him wanting to um prove his loyalty you never, never know the next episode you might get an in-depth more in-depth episode uh about huey or we might get an episode about jasmine that we'll see i guess but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction enjoyed me do not forget to give this video a thumbs up comment down below if you're enjoying the boondock series how are you liking it thus far what are you what are your opinions about riley and huey and <laughs> Grandpa. And yeah, <laughs> that's me. Peace.